So I showed that because, because sun. No, not that way, not that way, not that way. This way. So this is fire station number 11 um, that the Bukowski Palm Fire Station is about. Fire station for Jane with love. We came out of the bar because we were out of money, but we had a couple of wine bottles in the room. It was about four in the afternoon and we passed a fire station and she started to go crazy. A fire station. Oh, I just love fire engines and they're so red and all. Let's go in. I followed her on in. Fire engines, she screamed, wobbling her big ass. She was already trying to climb into one, pulling her skirt up to her waist, trying to jackknife up into the seat. Here, here, let me help you, a fireman ran up. Another fireman walked up to me. Our citizens are always welcome, he told me. Another guy was up in the seat with her. You got one of those big things? She asked him. Oh, <laughs> I mean one of those big helmets. I got a big helmet too, he told her. Oh, ha 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 ha. You play cards, I asked my fireman. I had 43 cents and nothing but time. Come on back, he said. Of course, we don't gamble. It's against the rules. I understand, I told him. I had run my 43 cents up to $1.90 when I saw her going upstairs with her fireman. He's going to show me their sleeping quarters, she told me. I understand, I told her. When the fireman slid down the pole 10 minutes later, I nodded him over. That'll be $5. $5 for that? We wouldn't want a scandal, would we? We both might lose our jobs. Of course, I'm not working. He gave me the five. Sit down, you might get it back. What you playing? Blackjack. Gambling's against the law. Anything interesting is. Besides, you see any money on the table? He sat down. That made five of us. How was it, Harry? Somebody asked him. Not bad, not bad. The other guy went upstairs. They were bad players, really. They didn't bother to memorize the deck. They didn't know whether the high numbers or low numbers were left. And basically, they hit too high, didn't hold low enough. When the other guy came down, he gave me a five. How was it, Marty? Not bad. She's got some fine movements. Hit me, I said. Nice, clean girl. I write it myself. Nobody said anything. Any big fires lately? I asked. Nah, nothing much. You guys need exercise. Hit me again. A big red-headed kid who had been shining an engine threw down his rag and went upstairs. When he came down, he threw me a five. When the fourth guy came down, I gave him three fives for a twenty. I don't know how many firemen were in that building or where they were. I figured a few had slipped by me, but I was a good sport. It was getting dark outside when the alarm rang. They started running around. The guys came sliding down the pole. Then she came sliding down the pole. She was good with the pole. A real woman. Nothing but guts and ass. Let's go, I told her. She stood there waving goodbye to the firemen, but they didn't seem much interested anymore. Let's go back to the bar, I told her. Oh, you got money? I found some I didn't know I had. We sat at the end of the bar with whiskey and beer chaser. I sure got a good sleep. Sure, baby, you need your sleep. 
Look at that sailor looking at me. He must think I'm a... Uh, nah, he doesn't think that. Relax, you got class, real class. Sometimes you remind me of an opera singer. You know, one of those prima D's. Your class shows all over you. Drink up. I order two more. You know, Daddy, you're the only man I love. I mean, really love, you know? Sure, I know. Sometimes I think I'm a king in spite of myself. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Something like that. I had to go to the urinal. When I came back, the sailor was sitting in my seat. She had her leg up against his and was talking. I walked over and got in a dart game with Harry the horse and the corner newsboy. And that is fire station. But inside that fire station there, that is where um, Hank and Jane Tony Baker went in and um, Hank was playing poker with the boys while Jane was taking people upstairs and um, just getting fucked by him without thinking anything about it. And then Hank decided to um, charge the guys as they came back down like he was her pimp and this whole thing was planned like that. And then... Um, he ended up getting a bunch of money from the guys, from poker and the sex. And then when a fire happened and the fire guys had to leave, Jane comes back downstairs and she's like, oh, I had such a good nap. And he's like, yeah, I bet you did. And then um, he's like, I found some money I didn't know I had. And so they went off to the bar and got drunk. So that is the story of Fire Station. Look it up. It's a good one. It inspired a chapbook called Fire Station, and that's it. This is the Fire Station from Fire Station.